Can you can we vote that she needs to do that? Yeah. Okay. But you need to do the Quick. Just one, two, three. Just add the band aid. Like pull the other band aid. One, two, three. No, no. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Gabby. I have very exciting news for me, but maybe not so much for you. There won't be any crafting for me today, and I know that bums a lot of you out, but I promise this is gonna be really cool. Today we have a very special guest, my friend, Marissa. She is on the YouTubes. She is on the Instagrams. And she is an extremely talented makeup artist. So tell us what you're gonna do. I'm gonna be doing super affordable drugstore Halloween looks on Gabby and a couple other people today. And all the makeup that I'm gonna be using is probably already in your makeup bag, or if you run to the drugstore, it'll just cost you a couple dollars. Important question, what look are you gonna give me today? You're gonna be a bunny. So excited. Okay, I can't wait to get started. Let's do it. Let's do it. You remember my peep, Danielle? Hey peeps. Hey people. Hey guys. So Marissa, what are you gonna be doing today? Hi, I'm gonna be doing a really cute classic cat look on her, and then we're gonna be upgrading it with some spots for a leopard. <laughs> we practice this. <laughs> all right, she's all yours. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with eye primer. It's a couple dollars from the drugstore. I like to take the eye primer all the way up to the brow just to brighten the whole eye area. Next, I'm gonna be using this eye palette. It's a nice transition from light shades to dark shades. Take the lightest shade in the palette and focus that on the inner corners of her eye. I'm gonna be using this neutral pink as a transition shade into her crease. The next shade I'm gonna be using is this dark brown. Focus this on the outer V of her eye. To give her more of a cat eye look, flick the rest of the product outwards. To darken things up a little bit, I'm gonna be taking the darkest shade in the palette and placing that on the very outer portion of her eye. I'm gonna be placing this eye crayon all over her lid. Take more of this darker shade, just to accentuate the outer corners a little bit more. Take a bigger fluffy brush that has no product on it and just blend the edges. I'm gonna be taking this cream eyeliner that again is just a couple dollars from the drugstore and I'm gonna be using this uber tiny brush for all the detail work. With that liner, I'm just gonna be drawing a pretty thick line above her lash line and we're going to flick it out and make a wing. I'm gonna have her open her eyes, and then I'm gonna draw an extension of the eyeliner on her inner corners. All right, next, take this medium brown shade, and I'm gonna place this underneath the waterline. To deepen the outer corner, take the darkest shade again, and I put this on the lower lash line. Next, take this bronzer, and we're gonna do some pretty heavy bronzing on her cheekbones. Along with her cheekbones, take the bronzer on her forehead and also on the sides of her nose. I'm gonna be taking a darker contour shade out of this palette and focusing that where I just put the bronzer. From that same palette, I'm gonna be using this pretty pink color as her blush. Take the darkest brown shade again, and I'm gonna be using this to chisel her nose. You can also just use a dark brown eyeshadow as well. Instead of using white cake makeup, I'm gonna be using this ultra light white concealer the same way. And we're gonna start carving out her nose and the mouth of the cat. Using this concealer just lightens her skin tone. Take whatever's left on the brush that I used to chisel out her nose and just go over the edges of that white. Take that same concealer and use it to hide her bottom lip. I'm gonna be taking this powder and using this to set all the areas that I use that concealer. 
Now we're gonna give her cute little whiskers. Take that same black eyeliner that I used before and we're gonna start the detail work on her nose and around her mouth. With that tiny brush, I'm gonna be drawing a straight line down from her nose all the way to her lip. Since cat lips are angled down, we hit the bottom lip and we're gonna accent the top lip at a downward angle. When you're drawing the dots, you don't have to go in any particular order. Just create little dots in various places. With that same tiny brush and that eyeliner I used before, we're gonna start making the dots for the leopard print. Just create half C's or do parentheses. I prefer an asymmetrical look. I'm working in an arc around her right eye. I'm continuing the leopard print onto her neck. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking this really pretty goldish bronze shimmer and using this to fill in the prints. Coat her lashes and this look is complete. I brought your ears. Ooh, ooh! Take your bath there, you look so cute. Okay, ready, finishing touches right here. Are you ready to see yourself? I'm ready. Are you oh, sure? Okay, oh, you, you do? So good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Do you see it? Whoa! <laughs> I really look like a cat. You did such a good job. <laughs> that looks great. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Yes. What's next? A giraffe. First step is going to be taking that same eye base as before and just brightening up the eye area. So I'm just gonna take this medium brown shade on a fluffy brush and put this on her whole entire lid. Taking that same brown shade and I'm gonna place that on the lower waterline. Now I'm gonna take this brown eyeliner and we're gonna start making our giraffe spots. I'm gonna be creating a close pattern of rounded squares that fit together and filling them in as I go. Now take this pure white eyeliner, outline little parts of the spots. Taking this neutral pink lipstick, it matches her lip color almost perfectly, which is what we want for this look. Last but not least, super thick and long eyelashes to mimic giraffe eyes. While I'm waiting for her lashes to dry, I'm gonna coat her natural lashes and also coat the false lashes to make it more seamless. Add some giraffe ears and this look is complete. Let me see the giraffe. Oh my gosh, Marissa, I have to say, you really stuck your neck out on this one. <laughs> <laughs> that made you hoppy. So are you gonna show me what I look like? I can't wait. Giraffes are sassy. They don't need it. Are they? Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh, that looks so realistic. I love it. Yay. I feel really tall right now. <laughs> Get out of my chair, okay. I'm ready. Ah. I'm ready for my <laughs> class. <laughs> Take a little bit of translucent powder just to knock away any shine. Sorry, <laughs> I freak out when people touch my face. She already has some eyeliner on, so I'm just gonna take this black eyeliner and we're going to accentuate the inner corner of her eye. Apply a thin line all across her lash line. Take this pure white eyeshadow base and create a small circle around her brows. I'm also going to take this jumbo eye pencil and go right over that on her brows just to make it a little bit more bright. Take the same jumbo pencil and carving out around her mouth and her chin. You don't have to be precise with this. We're gonna create fake hairs in just a second. Take that same pencil all over her lips. To set all the areas of white, take some translucent powder on a big fluffy brush and just set those areas in place. With a very tiny brush, 
and make a very thin line from her nose to the top of her lip. Now take this pink liner and forming her nose. Take this white eyeliner and we're gonna make hair-like strokes through the white around her mouth and her eyebrows. Go back in with this white eye pencil and we're just gonna brighten and blend all the areas. Now take the white shadow out of this palette and set all the areas of white. Now take this pretty pink shade and apply this to her upper lip. All right, place on your bunny ears. And this look is complete. You look so cute. Are you ready to see yourself? Yay! Yes. <laughs> I am adorable. You oh are Oh my the God, I'm literally a bunny. <laughs> Job well done, Marissa. Thank you. I'm gonna go put on the perfect bunny dress and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, well we're finally done and honestly, I think we look adorable. And Danielle, I think you look particularly perfect. I must say. <laughs> Thank you, Gabby. Marissa, thank you so much for sharing your talents with us and getting us Halloween ready. Let us know which one is your favorite, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.